Safety and playability are the two most important factors you should strive to achieve when installing or modifying your skinned infill. Every skinned infill soil is a mixture of sand, silt, and clay. Let's look at how each of these components affects the quality and playability of a skinned infill. Sand is the largest of these particles. It is loose, drains well, and doesn't hold moisture. In fact, if we had an infill made of 100% sand, we'd never have a rain out. Here are two different piles of sand. One is soft and loose, the other is solid and firm, and would be easy to run on. What's the difference between the two? Envision yourself going to the beach. The sand is soft and loose as you walk on it, and when you approach the water and the water washes over your toes, the sand becomes solid, firm, and easy to walk or run on. So what is the difference between these two areas of sand? Moisture. The only difference is moisture. Infill mix management is all about controlling moisture. The next component is silt. Silt is a finer particle than sand and is least desirable in an infill mix. Infill soils high in silt inhibit moisture from penetrating into the soil easily. This results in a mushy surface after a rain event, while the underlying soil will be dry and have a flower-like consistency. The smallest particle in an infill soil is clay. When moist, clay becomes sticky and very pliable. It is elastic and behaves much differently than sand and silt. Moist clay is the glue that binds all the particles together and help hold moisture in an infill mix. When it gets too wet, however, it becomes slippery and slimy and is the cause of rainouts and unsafe footing. If too dry, clay becomes like a brick, creating an unsafe, rock-hard playing surface that is dangerous to slide on and will likely cause bad ball hops that could injure players or influence the outcome of a game. Blending sand, silt, and clay in the right ratios is important to achieve the best infill for your facility. We always want to have more clay than silt in our mix. Infills with a high sand content are typically recommended for fields that have lower maintenance budgets or staff. An ideal mix for this type of field would consist of about 70% sand, 10% silt, and 20% clay. In contrast, a major league field would be closer to 55% sand, 15% silt, and 30% clay. High clay content fields require much greater maintenance and watering to remain soft yet firm for players in consistent ball hops. No matter the composition of your field, the most important ingredient for any infill mix is water. Proper moisture is the critical component to make the field safe and playable. Without a large maintenance staff and irrigation tools, fields must rely on Mother Nature to provide moisture. If it rains today, the field is too wet for play. In one or two days, the field has dried some and we have just the right amount of moisture in the infill. Excellent playability and safety with a firm, moist infill mix. But by the fourth or fifth day, after the sun has baked the field, we're going to have a dry and hard infield unless you're able to get another rain or can water the field to get moisture back into the mix. Infield conditioners are a necessary tool to help manage moisture in an infield mix. An infield conditioner that holds and releases moisture slowly into the mix will extend the level of playability in your field. A topping of conditioners on the surface of the skinned infill will prevent slippery, slick conditions and will help prevent many rainouts. Videos on how to test infill conditioners and an introduction to infill conditioners can be found on the turfus.com website.